Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Chimera Illy, and today we're going to be looking at the second tier lion hero. Arrhenius, the proud royal guard. This bastard has caused me such a headache in the past. And that's because of one simple thing. Bulwark of Defiance. Units in contact with Arrhenius are immobilized and cannot ever disengage. That, this fucker locks you down and locks you down hard. It's insane what he can do. But before I really go into all of this, I'm just going to go over the usual. He's 200 AP like all of the other heroes, which I kind of wish they changed, but who knows. Still in beta. Beta is beta right now, and who knows? Things are gonna change, I'm sure, for the better. His movement is 4, health is 40, you know, not a legendary, so just usual. Accuracy 12, decent accuracy. It's kind of normal accuracy for heroes, I've noticed. Parry is 16, which is absurdly high. Just, he will parry fucking everything. His dodge. Low, can't really blame the dude. He is in heavy armor. He's not going to be moving around a whole lot. His damage is decent. It's not terrible. He's very tough, and he's got insane will, which, I don't know. I feel like it's not all that important for him, because he's already immune to fear. But... It's there. Now his abilities, dual. This unit adopts a counterattack stance. It suffers a minus two parry. Whoop de do. He's he, that, that drops him down to fourteen, a whopping fourteen, which is a, which is still really really good. But he he reposts each strike. I he parries in melee combat, which is most. Which means that against. Wolfen, he's a fucking nightmare because he's going to repose like three times if he parries all the attacks, and odds are he will. But guess what? Because he has such a high toughness, I'm still going to deal very low damage to him. He also has Master Strike, which is the same as it was on Rhyscar. Plus four damage, minus four accuracy. And then we come to his ultimates. His ult, his elixir ability. And Arrhenius forces focuses all his will on his sacred weapon, allowing him to launch two attacks with a plus 10 in critical chance and a plus 2 damage. So he's dealing 13 damage. He says that's his damage stat. He's, he may be dealing more or less, depending on the toughness of the unit he's attacking. But he's attacking twice. For, for an elixir point. Pretty good trade-off, I'd say. And especially with his sacred weapon, it makes it insane. Not insane, but it makes it extremely dangerous. Now, he has strategy, strategist 4, meaning that the lion, who are already top tier in their discipline, are near guaranteed to go first. Because... Strategist and Discipline. Discipline is essentially initiative for all you guys out there who have played Dunge Dungeons and Dragons, or D&D as I like to call it. And that Discipline, if you roll we, in the beginning of each turn, both armies roll initiative. The one with the higher, or rather roll Discipline. And the one with the higher roll goes first. When you have a plus four bonus to that, you're, you damn well better go first. Now, I already talked about Bulwark of Defiance, which is, god, I hate this ability so much. Because with the wolf and one of our main things is we like and kind of rely on our mobility. It's extremely important, and I, as a wolf and player, need to be utilizing a lot more than I do right now. He also has Courage Aura, meaning that everyone around him is essentially immune to fear. 
not a huge setback for me, but it's annoying because fear is very useful. Um, that he totally negates it. I already talked about sick weapon. Just flat out, just poking people. Just, you know, poking people. Boom. All of his attacks have a 10% natural chance of killing someone outright. Just boom. Oh, shit. Well, I kind of already lost this because uh, you just one shot my grave guardian from 100 to 0. Well, oh, well, too bad. Might as well fight this thing out and see what happens. He has sacred armor, so he cannot. He cannot be insta-killed, and also, he has a 15% chance of canceling damage, just outright. So he has a, he's tough, and along with being tough, he can just flat out cancel whatever damage you decide to try to deal against him. He also has hard-boiled, so he has toughness 4, and he gets 3 decreased damage from that. I've literally hit this guy and dealt four damage to him. Four. That's when he's that's when he didn't parry me. He parry he usually parries the first hit. So it's parry four damage. Well this is gonna be a while, isn't it? That's ten attacks. Now for you for most players that's really freaking long. For Wolfen it's shorter. It's still really freaking long. And those turns that I'm forced, essentially, to attack him, I'm wasting my fucking time. He's parrying it. He has a toughness of 14. He has hard-boiled. This fucker is a bulwark. Again, fucking his ability. He stands there, and he locks your entire army down. And for the Wolfen, who, in, especially, especially in my case... When I have such a small army already, I have five units. Six or seven max, and I don't really like going that way anyway. When I have my front line locked down, forced to attack him, rather than the other squisher units, and he's had and he has backup, it, it's fucking devastating to me. And along with all that, it doesn't matter if I encircle him. Like, it's insane. I have never won a battle against an Arrhenius. I have never won against him. Not once. Because he locks me down immediately, and there's no chance to use my ability, my mobility rather, to even try to rectify the mistake I just made. It's... Oh, you fucked up? Okay, too bad. I'll wipe my hands at you. You're dead. You're, you're done. I'm gonna fuck you up. Because guess what? If I get caught, and let's say I'm out in the middle of nowhere, Arrhenius, and some longbowmen, and, and like a longbowman or something, can literally just whittle my units down constantly. Especially if he has my frontline locked down, and he has his other units literally just running around the map getting elixir points for him, he can just keep whacking away at my unit. And if he has sparklings, he can literally have his sparklings on the back half of him, healing him up, preventing me from really capitalizing on the four damage, yay, on the four damage that I just dealt him. This dude is amazing. Like, I'm flat out, unabashedly saying, this dude is amazing compared to every single... Like, he stands out because of his parry, his toughness. His ability is not so much. But even so, Elixir points, and he essentially becomes a wolfen. He slaps you twice. And plus, that's a sacred weapon. Every time he touches you, there's that thing in the back of your head. Oh shit, is this unit gonna instantly die? Just boom. <laughs> Done. You're dead. Too bad. Move on to the next dude. That's always at the back of your head. He can just totally just... He can destroy your world. So yeah.
the, I'm just kind of quickly going over the, just quickly going over the orders he brings to the table. He doesn't. He he's not offensive. He turtles. And when you and when you go in to try to hurt him, he turtles you. He grabs you, and holds you there, and watches you squirm. He's got defensive stance, divine favor, commanding shout, which is essentially tide tide of the dead for the lion players. It's insane what this guy can do. And his... Oh my god. And this is... And this last one. Raise your shields. One looks a point. Ten parry. Ten dodge. For two turns. He can essentially create a mini-me. If he uses... If he uses this on a tankier... Hold on. If he uses this on, say, this dude, this guy now has 23 parry and 18 dodge. He can literally just sit on the front line. He's a mini me. That's even better. I cannot touch this dude. He's got, that means he's got taunt and he's got this thing. He can... Imagine this late game. Imagine this. Irenaeus uses Razor Shields. That's plus 10 parry and plus 10 dodge. The game is winding down. But... This bastard decides to use this. Fierce and Ferocious for the end of the game. He has a parry of 23. I'm probably not even going to be able to touch him. And guess what that means? Guess what that means? Well, I can't lock him down. I also can't kill him. I'm literally just going to be running up against a wall with this guy. I'm going to be running up against a bulwark. The Royal Guard, that's his name. 40,000 Ducats, 75 Cyans. Whew. I'm going to have to figure out a way to kill this guy. I will find a way to kill this guy. So yeah, I kind of have a little, little bit of a vendetta slash hate thing going on with this guy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you want more, subscribe. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.